Hello, seniors. I'm glad you are still here listening to an exciting lesson related to life science. I'm Mom De La Sorina, and I'll be presenting to you today's amazing lesson. Are you excited? So do I. So let's make the most out of our class time. Learn while having fun. As defined, genetic engineering is the process of changing the DNA in living organisms to create something new. It involves artificial manipulation, modification, and recombination of DNA or other nucleic acid molecules in order to modify an organism or population of organisms. Recombinant DNA technology has applications to various areas like medicine, focusing on the discoveries of medicine to cure and improve human health, and nutrition aimed to produce good quality and high quantity crops. My dear students, our lesson today, Lesson 5, The Benefits and Risk of Using GMOs. At the end of this module, you should be able to evaluate the benefits and risk of using GMOs. The aim of planting genetically modified organism or GMO and its commercial use is to help improve farming methods efficiently and productively. Some of the most common crops are soybean, maize, cotton, canola, alfalfa, papaya, eggplant, potato, apple, soft flour, pineapple, and sugar cane. Genetically modified plants have created resistance to harmful agents, enhanced product yield, and shown increased adaptability for better survival. Recombinant technology has been widely used in improving crop varieties. Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, are also called transgenic organisms, since genes are transferred from one organism to another. Moving on, let's have the advantages and benefits of GMOs. One of the main reasons why scientists conduct genetic engineering is to provide and sustain human. The modern practice of genetic engineering goes beyond crossbreeding of different species to create a new outcome. There are many advantages that genetic engineering can bring the world today. One is that it makes agricultural practices much safer by reducing, if not eliminating, the use of pesticides. This will result in creating greater yields since farmers will no longer spend money for pesticides. No use of pesticides would lead to improved growth rate of crops and consequently create better food products. Likewise, better food products mean more people to be fed. Genetic engineering allows specific traits to be developed for plants and animals. It can improve resistance to diseases and even stop genetic diseases in humans. We already have genetic testing in place to test for certain cancers. GE or genetic engineering could be used DNA manipulation to help treat or cure people who are born with genetic disorders. The different tools of genetic engineering could produce novel medical treatments like vaccines, insulin, and even hormone treatment. Through GE, we can create more treatments that allow us to be proactive more often against pathogens that can have life-threatening characteristics that will further decrease death rate. Recombinant DNA technology is playing a vital role in improving health conditions by developing new vaccines and pharmaceuticals. The treatment strategies are also improved by developing diagnostic kits, monitoring devices, and new therapeutic approaches. Synthesis of synthetic human insulin and erythropoietin by genetically modified bacteria, human growth hormone which cures stunted growth, tissues plus minogen activator which dissolves blood clots among patients who had heart attack, transgenic pigs used to produce human hemoglobin, human clotting factors have also been produced in the milk of transgenic goats, production of farm animals to synthesize such as pharmaceutical products and production of new types of experimental mutant mice for research purposes.
at this point, let's discuss the disadvantages and the risks of GMOs. There are also disadvantages that genetic engineering can bring, like amount of diversity that is available is limited. The reason for this is the industry will focus on the product or organism that performs well. Another disadvantage is it's prone te to technological abuse. Currently, we have laws and treaties in place to prevent genetic engineering abuse. However, that does not mean that abuse on its use will not occur. The next disadvantage is the genetic engineering process can only be copyrighted in the United States, a rule that GE DNA sequences can be patented. That makes the rule more profitable for organizations to study DNA manipulation instead of working for the good of humanity. Another disadvantage is it can bring difficult legal liabilities with unintended consequences. Seed and crops can also be patented. This brings issues for farmers who encounter GMOs on their land due to unintentional spread. GE thus create a natural barrier against disease and harsh environmental conditions. It also just extends the resilience of plants and animals. The changes made are not permanent benefits. More modifications are required over time because nature eventually adopts. Pathogens become stronger to affect the stronger plants and animals. Our own experience with medicines that we take, like antibiotics, is an evidence to this fact. That was an amazing lesson, isn't it? I hope you learned a lot in today's topic. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to take care of yourself by staying at home. See you again next time. Bye-bye!